hi guys a lot of you have been complaining on my previous videos that your LG Optimus 1 does not receive network when you root to the ice cream sandwich ROMs or the Android 4.0 ROMs so I'm going to be showing you how to fix that and the reason why your phone does not receive network is because it's still running on the old baseband version of the LG Optimus 1 and I'm going to show you how to update to the new baseband version so first of all what you're going to want to do is download these two files that I'm going to put in the link one of them is the KDZ FW UPD English 7 zip file and the V20G00 file you can copy them both to a folder on the desktop and since this is a zip file you need an unzipper also this is a 7z file the next thing you're going to want to do is remove the USB from your phone remove the micro SD card from your phone take off the battery and put it back in and reboot the phone so you just reboot the phone now and what you're gonna want to do before this if you haven't already done this is um, insert the USB cable into your phone and then into your PC and automatically the computer should um, automatically the computer should detect the drivers for your LG Optimus 1 and install them this is really necessary because otherwise the computer may not detect the phone or the steps may not go according to what you would want them to go through and you may break your phone once you've rebooted your phone you're going to you're gonna want to open the folder from your 7-zip file and run the MSI file it installs the MSXML so you're just gonna want to do next and I already have this installed so I'm just gonna cancel this the next thing I'm gonna open is the KDZ FW UPD EXE and you're going to want to press yes when it asks you for permissions and you're going to go from type to 3G QTC that's right 3G QTC there's also an instruction page on how to do this on XDA and I'll link that to you as well so 3G QTC is what you're going to go into and your phone model is going to be DAG when it asks you for selecting the CAB file you're gonna browse and wherever you have put that on your computer you're just gonna browse to that folder and you're gonna select that file I've put it in new baseband folder so I'm opening that and I'll just select this now once your phone is rebooted you're gonna unlock it and you're going, gonna go into system settings and into developer options and you're going to check USB debugging mine is already checked so I'm not going to recheck it uh, as long as USB debugging is not checked this process is not going to work so make sure that USB debugging is checked and then insert the USB cable back into your phone and launch the software update I'm not going to do this on my phone since mine is already running on the new baseband version and I don't want to reinstall it and have to reinstall my ROMs since there's a lot of data on those. Before doing this process if there's any backups you want to make you should make those backup of your ROM or a backup of your contacts to LG PC suite or anything. Now once you've launched the software once you've launched the software update if everything goes well in 5 to 10 minutes your phone will be flashed with the new firmware the f uh, during the first 10-15 seconds after launching the software update on your PC your phone will go your phone will enter a screen that says emergency mode during this mode the screen will be yellow and emergency mode will be written along the middle of the screen 
after about 10 uh, 5 10 minutes once it's over there will be a text saying finish like this at the end i'll just show you how the whole process will look on the log he's updated a log also let me just wait for that yeah so this is how it's going to start up and during the end it's going to be something like this it will say finish like it says over here and once that happens you, get, you have to wait 3 minutes detach your phone take out the battery and put it back in and then reboot the phone now the first time when you are rebooting the phone after doing this it will take a long time for it to boot so there is no need to get worried if it takes longer than usual it will take longer than usual so once that is done you will be flashed with a new baseband version now the next thing you need to do is root root it now the easiest way to do this is from this method in which I'll put a link in the description so it'll download ginger break apk and you just put the apk onto your phone install a file browser and install the apk once that is done just go into the google play market and download rom manager it's by clock it's by the clockwork mod team and you can just install the soft uh, the recovery software for your device so it will automatically detect LG Optimus 1 now then it will ask you if you want the recovery for the clockwork mod old baseband or new baseband now that you've updated your mobile to the new baseband you're going to select new baseband for the uh, software recovery and that's all after you've got the software recovery you can install new ROMs and there is a guide on my YouTube channel showing you how to install ice cream sandwich ROMs. Thank you guys very much.